Slaughterhouse Rules. Does it? Hello fellow movie and horror movie fans. In this video we're going to be talking about the new film Slaughterhouse Rules from executive producers Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. As always I'm going to give you a bit of a plot to the film as well as some of the things I liked, disliked and what I thought they could have done a bit better. Stay tuned. And guys, if you enjoy watching this film, hit the like and subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you won't miss out on any of the films I do in the future. Directed by Crispin Mills and the screenplay was co-written by Crispin Mills and Henry Fitzherbert. Starring Asa Butterfield, Simon Pegg, Michael Sheen and Nick Frost. When a fairly everyday northern commoner is convinced to join a middle to upper class boarding school, it's easy to see from the get-go that he's going to have a hard time trying to fit in. And it's not just the teachers that are crazy at this school, but a lot of the students are filled with their own unfounded self-belief. But really this is the least of their issues, when the huge fracking company TerraFrac, whose bosses are personal friends with the principal of the school, have been allowed to drill on school campus, unleashing... ...subterranean subspecies. <laughs> Quite. And there's nothing like a bit of bloodshed to bring a few like-minded students together in a fight against these prehistoric creatures. Now I have to be honest, I did enjoy the film, but there is some quite obvious problems with it. Mainly being that there is not enough Nick Frost and Simon Pegg in it. And as good as the executive producers are in this film, they nearly don't fill as much screen time as they should. Unfortunately, you feel yourself just waiting for their parts to appear on screen again. They didn't really need to show you the backstory of the young northern lad that's put into this boarding school uh, to show you how crazy the school is because it would be apparent as soon as you start watching some of the footage, all they needed to do was push the camera through uh, the film and start to show you some of the strange things that happened. And you could have joined some of those characters that feel out of place halfway through. Now I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy this film, but it doesn't have what I was hoping for when I hear that Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are gonna be producing uh, and starring in a British horror film because we all know what we were hoping for, and that is something similar, although it will never be quite as good as, or hit the highs of, Shaun of the Dead. But unfortunately, this film doesn't even come close to the Cornetto trio of films. And I can't help but say that I would have enjoyed the story more if it had have been about Simon Pegg's character joining the school and finding out how weird it was. So I have to say, unfortunately, I was rather disappointed with the film. But if you do like monsters, strange death scenes, a bit of gore, comedy thrown in there, teenage friendship with the coming of age, then really this is quite an entertaining film. Just don't go into it hoping to see a Shaun of the Dead because that is not what this is. IMDB have a 5.4 rating on this film and the popularity of it is going down. So I can pretty much see that the rating is gonna go down too. It should stay above five because it's not terrible, but I think people's expectations of the Simon Pegg and Nick Frost combination uh, would have wanted more. And therefore when they watch it, they're gonna give it a, a, a negative vote because of that. All of the teenage student characters in this film are really good and they're played very well by their actors but it unfortunately feels like a lot of filler and just waiting for the, the punch to come, which is when Terrafrac unleash these monsters. And really that is quite forgivable, but the fact that it takes up so much of the film before anything ever happens, you do find yourself just waiting for the next Simon Pegg or Nick Frost scene. There are two young actors I would like to point out in this film for their performance. That is Asa Butterfield, who plays young Willoughby Blake, who is absolutely convincing and intriguing in his performance. And the second one is Tom Reese Harries, who plays the rather unhinged house prefect, Clegg. Harry's commitment to Craig's character is relentless, and you believe for every second that he will do whatever it takes to keep law and order in his schoolhouse. So to wrap up and try and keep this video short, I'm gonna say this. Why doesn't Simon Pegg and Nick Frost go back to their roots and do some of the stuff that we loved about the Cornetto Trio films? Uh, seems like they've tried to do it a little bit in this film, but they're not the main focus of the film. They've given the main focus to these teenagers trying to get out and uh, trying to get out of the film alive. Uh, we really need to see their characters. We need to see films that focus on them. 